What's up guys? Today we're gonna take a look at the Mari paint buffer and HDR channels and we start right now. Okay, so the paint buffer. You use the paint buffer to uh, edit your source images before you apply the paint. So that's something we can look at first. So in my case, this is the, the default image. And let's say you wanna bring some contrast to this image before you apply the paint. You can either do it outside the um, Mori or you can actually enable this source grade and then you have the options to apply curves or you can desaturate or you can take a contrast so this this is contrasting the 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 input of the, um, the image you can take individual channels or you can take RGB all of them this is like exposure kind of thing um, so that's that's the the way to adjust uh, the paint buffer something that's heavily related to uh, resolution uh, is the the paint buffer size so let's let's make a new channel actually new channel or an AK or something uh, res just to see it in practice so I'll make it a gray channel so there we go so if I now start to paint here uh, all my patches is 8k here and uh, let's make it visible you can see here I can I can zoom in pretty far before my paint starts to this is me zooming I just painted something like a thin stroke and you can see when I have a 4k paint buffer on an 8k channel patch that size you can see there is a lot of room before it, your paint starts to to actually like show its pixels so like it's so you can zoom pretty far there but if you would still have an 8k buffer uh, a patch size and do the same and uh, reset this to something 256 for example you see this is like even if you have an 8k patch size your paint buffer is now the the minimum it's too it, it's just gonna give you really awful so this is where um, having the the right size. I usually, if you have a graphics card for it, 4K seems to be a, a good uh, trade-off. If even if you work in 8K, it depends on how. F if you work in this like uh, far off uh, on from a model, you have to reset this to something higher. But it's gonna be. Um, it's gonna be a little le the the larger the paint buffer, the longer bake times, and it's gonna feel slower. So if you work really close, even on an 8K channel, sometimes actually resetting the 2K because this resolution might st like we are so close to this part here. So and um, and then 2K is gonna be even faster to bake. It's gonna be almost instant but if I would say 8k here um, it's gonna be a little longer actually quite a big difference compared to the 4k or yeah that's kind of fast 1k is gonna be like blink of a second but if I would set this to uh, yeah, I can't even have it on my graphics card 16K, and that's fine. I, I don't want to use 16K. 8K I can use, uh, but yeah, uh, that's that's for really zoomed out stuff. If I would paint over here, it would probably make sense to have an 8K buffer because, yeah, but it's going to be a, a longer, um, 
gonna be a longer bake time there. So that's something to be aware of. So you, you kind of want to use paint uh, like at this distance if you want to do details. And what else do we have? So we have the reset paint buffer. If you hold Z, you can zoom the paint buffer. So this is the actual paint buffer. You see here, that's that uh, like rectangle thing. That's what's going to be projected. So if I paint here, you see outside that paint buffer, nothing happens. So this is what the actual paint buffer, you can zoom into it. So I can still now go around here and do my thing. But uh, it's w when I hit the bake button, the paint buffer is going to reset in my case right now. And yeah, so now we see now it goes back to being like outside this frost room. If I disable the re uh, re reset on bake, I can show you. So if I do something like this and zoom out, so we can let's take the other side or something or here. And now bake here, you see the paint buffer is still zoomed out. I don't really use this that often actually. So I have it usually enabled. I don't, I'm not sure exactly, but you can reset it to fill your canvas kind of. Yeah, that's something about the paint buffer. And there's actually rotation and translation. That's something I don't really use that often either, but the just do like that you can rotate the the paint buffer so this actually if I zoom out rotates the whole paint buffer I kind of uh, use control R to rotate my my camera instead if I want to do something like adjust if I hit Control R, you can uh, tumble around the camera instead of doing rotate the actual buffer. That's the way uh, I do it at least. And um, yeah, that's that's the paint buffer. So I have this uh, HDR I took back in Sweden. So if you have a, like I'm, I made a channel, it's 32 bit. Um, so to demonstrate this, um, in the paint buffer, you have something called clamp. So if, if I enable this one, you get the, um, in the lower right corner, you see there is an LDR symbol. So if I would flood uh, now this, if I hit the, uh, the flood of that, image and bake it down. Now I untick this. So now it's not clamped. And uh, let's say I rotate this and bake it down again. So in the in the corner now you ha have the HDR. Um, bake it down. And let's see. So first off, you see the difference. Uh, this one looks clamped here and this one don't. So now when I take the, the exposure, you see, yeah, it is one is HDR and one's not. So that's something you have to uh, check. If you paint uh, with HDR images or high demand, uh, like higher bit depth, it might be worth unticking the clamp. So let's reset this and uh, also if you would have the HDR mode but you would set this source grade then you will be in trouble because the source grade seems to clamp if I now if I now go like that Oops. Let's paint there. So source grade is enabled, but I have 
HDR mode and then it will clamp your input image. So that's bad actually. Yeah. So to paint with true HDR, you can't have the source grade enabled because that, that will clamp your buffer as well. I'm not sure why. Um, I think, I mean, you should be able to have a, I guess it's uh, some kind of limitation. Um, yeah, that's HDR and uh, paint buffer related stuff. And let's get this back. Okay, so that concludes this session for the paint buffer. And um, if you want to support me, just subscribe to my YouTube channel and um, see you in the next chapter. Bye.